Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you have a wonderful day. As you can see here, this is my portfolio. It's just over 61,000 pounds. I do have 30 stocks in this portfolio. Recently, I decided to look up every single one stock, uh, every single one of these stocks in my portfolio and decide what I want to do with them going forward. And what I've done is I've done a video just um, last week looking at the first 30, uh, first 15 stocks out of the 30. Today, we will look at the last 30. And then I have a follow up video coming up tomorrow where I will be sharing with you the companies that I will be buying going forward. So I will be share, sharing again my watch list, all the companies that are in that watch list, as well as why I want to buy and so on. That means I will also be getting rid of um, a couple of stocks in this portfolio. So I'm going to share that with you today. I'm going to explain every single one of the companies that I own in this portfolio. Um, I've already done the first 15. If you haven't seen that video, go and watch that. Okay, so we're going to start from position 16 if you like. And what I'm trying to do here is just make sure the comp basically the companies that I own in my portfolio meet the criteria here. So, okay, so they have a wide economic mode, hopefully. Um, they have a growing revenue for the last five years. They have excellent free cash flow. Okay, yeah, they can use that to buy back their own shares, to pay you dividends, to pay off any debt they have, acquire other companies, grow the business. They could do a lot of things with that money. I want to see if the company pays a dividend, I want to pay out ratio less than 65%. If they pay dividend, I want to see the last five years must be greater on average, must be greater um, greater than or equal to at least 6%. Return on invested capital, okay, must be at least more than 10%. Okay, next is the growth estimates for the next five years and then interest bearing. Um, this one, I don't mind. Okay, 3% or more. That's I'm okay with that. And then from Sharia compliance side of things, interest bearing debt must be less than 25%. And then I'm going to tell you whether I'm holding on to that company or I'm going to sell. So if you haven't seen the first video, go and watch that to see the first 15 companies. Okay, today I'm going to share the rest of them. And like I said, there might be some you know, companies that I need to get rid of. And in order to replace them, I will be doing the watch list um, very soon. So I will, be share, I will be sharing that video with you guys as well, just to let you know. Okay. So the first company in this portfolio, the, in this basically on the 16th position, if you like, is an Amgen. Amgen is a pharmaceutical company, is a bio company. The, this company is, has a wide economic mode. Yes, they in, in terms of revenue, is they have been growing their revenue over 10 years. So that's heading in the right directions. They've got $9 billion of free cash flow. They have re basically payout ratio way less than 65%. They have five-year growth rate greater than 12%, which is really nice. Return on equity, but a return on invested capital is about, about 15%, which is nice. They expected, basically, they are expecting the analysts, Yahoo Finance, okay, are expecting about 7% or more in, in the, every single year in the next five years. And then it, interest bearing is just borderline, okay, 25% right now. And right now, it's a hold, but it's one of the companies I am basically keeping an eye on because it might change very quickly. This is a huge company. If the... If, for example, the market cap goes down, the interest bearing obviously changes dramatically and that could basically turn it into non-sharia compliant. Not because the company is taking a lot more debt, it's because of the um, market cap going down, obviously. Okay, the next one is Home Depot. Home Depot has been in my portfolio for a long time. It has a wide economic mode. They are growing their revenue. They have $10 billion in, of free cash flow. They have below payout ratio. Five-year growth rate is over 18%, which is really nice. Return on invest, invested capital, 21%. This is basically one of the best companies that I own in my portfolio. And it is trading high multiples. I would have loved to own at least 20 to 25 shares of this company. But the issue is because it's an, an amazing business, it is quite expensive. It's always trading high multiples. And that for that reason, I try not to buy when it's basically overvalued. So I try to get it when it's either fair valued or undervalued, which is never basically. Okay, so the next company we're looking at is Lowe's. Lowe's is basically one of those companies that I absolutely love. But right now, interest bearing there is actually above 25%. Now, that's one of the requirements that I have. 
but I'm just waiting for the late next earnings report and see how things go. Again, if the stock comes back down again, like I said, if the market cap goes down, then that means that this will probably hit 30 or more right so that's my concern that's why i put in basically for now it's a hold but it's definitely a one i'm watching very very closely and don't be surprised if i get rid of it completely take that money and possibly put it into home depot instead because right now i'm trying to reduce all the companies that ha are very close to um, basically be a non share compliant because i want to make sure in the long run this portfolio runs on its own without me looking at every single week that's the hopefully the plan okay right the next company we're looking at for some reason the formula has now changed um, i think it's because of the market is up sometimes yahoo um, google ad method that i use basically it's called good at finance basically uh, function that i use sometimes does this okay so let me just quickly update well it looks like it's not going to change but it's fine VF Corporations is the next company. It has a narrow economic mode. Yes, they are growing their revenue. Free cash flow is right now a negative. Okay, so that is something I'm definitely not happy with. Uh, payout ratio is less than 65%, uh, so, so more than 65%. Five year growth rate right now is only 3%. This basically failed almost every angle apart from the return on invested capital. And the growth is not almost based non-existent next year so this is definite sell for me the issue is i cannot sell it right now look at it i'm down 850 pounds right now and you know what it is right now if you look at my average price is 51 dollars 28 is basically where it is right now and because the market cap went down so much, it's not because the company, by the way, the debt levels almost just went up. It's not because of that, right? It's because the market cap just went down so much because the stock went from 60s to right now 30. So it cut in half. And for that reason, and they probably had a high debt in the first place. For that reason, that's why basically this is now gone to over 52. So this is definitely not sure, not sure are compliant right now. But because I already own it, I'm going to give it one more quarter and assess the situation, see where I am. And for now, I'm going to try to bring it down as much as I can to basically the, at least if I can get it into, I don't know, 30s, that would be really nice. But I don't know if I can do that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next one. But that is a definite sell. No matter what happens, if I break even or maybe take some loss, right? Either way, I'm going to sell this company. It's... Honestly, it's by far one of the companies I absolutely love in terms of their product. We use of their product all the time, okay? I basically have, um, every time I go out, look around, people are wearing it, basically no face um, jackets and so on, especially right now when it's winter. But the issue is the debt levels are not that high, but the market cap has, I think it's just at the time when I bought it, I think it was just too expensive. I thought it was undervalued. I bought it and I think I made a mistake. It's one of those situations. But I'm going to hold on to it for at least one more quarter to see how if things change. Even if I'm down, I don't know, 20%, whatever, I might just take it here and just walk away. Okay, but we'll see. Either way, that's going to be sold very soon. Next company is Cummins. This is one of the companies I do like having in my portfolio. It has a narrow economic mode. Yes, the revenue is growing. They do have enough cash to cover the dividends. Payout ratio is quite low. Five-year growth rate is about 7 um, return on invested capital is actually r really nice, about 18%. And they are expecting this to grow every single year, but the earnings to grow about 9% every single year. And right now is just below my um, target. So for now, it's hold, but it's another one that I'm kind of being careful because of this low free cash flow as well as the debt levels and so on. Considering it went up quite a bit recently, that worries me a little bit. So that's another one that I'm watching. But for now, maybe I will hold on to uh, through 2023. But we'll see. We'll see. For now, I'm not getting rid of it. So we'll see. Another company that I'm definitely going to sell at some point because I'm done with the headache, okay, is 3M. 3M is a great company. They have a what basically almost a 60, I don't know, 6,000 different products, okay? They are by far one of the best companies in the in that sector, industrial sector, if you like. They're growing their revenue. They have excellent free cash flow. Their dividend basically is covered completely. No issues from that. Return on investor capital is good, okay? But the next five years, there's not much of a growth, number one. Number two, 
the issue is because of this all the legal situation going on right now i'm not really comfortable i don't know how long i can keep this company in my portfolio because all that headache i don't want that like i said i'm gonna try to have basically say 30 to 35 or maybe even 40 stocks that hopefully will have a low interest bearing um, um, debt as well as obviously it's not going to give me any headache so this company right now looks like it's going to be get basically be a headache for the next couple of years but like i said i'm not going to sell it anytime soon i'm going to hold on to it okay they still sure are compliant but their debt levels is actually quite low right but high right now because of the market cap went down so much and i am down so it's not going to basically be a quick sell i'm down 500 um dollar pounds right now so i'm just going to keep there about 15 percent down basically so i'm going to keep it for now but i should be selling it very soon next company ups no issues with this company i'm holding on to it i will be buying more as, as we go along because it has a wide economic mode the earnings are growing 10 billion dollars on market cap everything we look at right now it actually looks good in terms of growth in the next five years that's what i expected from this company anyway um normally about seven percent or more growth side of things but hey because of the situation that we're in i don't know basically right now i am comfortable with that five percent if you like okay the next company is unp union pacific again is another great company i like really genuinely like this company i hope they reduce their debt levels because right now we're hitting that 25 percent target okay but another great company they do have a lot of uh, free cash flow that they can use for this okay um they also have excellent dividend okay they increase their dividend every single year for the last basically five years they've increased to 14 percent and return on invested capital looks really good so it's another company i'm definitely holding on to it but obviously i'm keeping an eye on that basically interest bearing debt side of things and um, ppg industrials is another great company i have had it for a while but recently i've been looking into thinking are there any other companies out there that could potentially replace this in this sector so in the material sector and the answer is yes sherwood williams actually looks really good but it's very very expensive right now so i'm not touching it yet i'm gonna hold on to it and see what happens now now we're here in the uk companies so rio tinto is one of those companies i genuinely own this company because they are uk based company number one or basically the um, FTSE 100 as well as the dividends okay so this is basically income play if you like i'm not holding on to this because of the growth although it's doing all right you know considering okay in comparison to other companies i'm up 17 percent, almost 18 percent. okay 201 dollars pounds right now okay but i'm genuinely holding on to this company because it's dividend their dividends are quite nice okay over the last whatever years actually uh, that i've had this company they have paid me quite a bit okay so for example 22 pounds recently um one before that was two pounds 18 pounds um what is it 13 pounds 27 pounds so yeah because i sold it i used to own quite a bit of a bit more shares i sold it and luckily bought it back after it went down quite a bit so in in that sense i was actually quite lucky but yeah they have an excellent free cash flow to be honest with you their payout ratio is quite low five-year growth rate is 36 percent they're not going to increase that they have some ridiculous dividends i think it's like 10 percent right now but i'm not selling it i'm going to hold on to it it doesn't look like it's growing the business uh, because it depends on china if china decides tomorrow the economy is back you know they all the lockdowns are over this company would do absolutely amazing why because all the stuff that basically the the iron ore and everything else they sell goes to china and china needs that in order to create all the basically they need all these materials basically the chinese companies are creating need real tinto products so for that reason i think it will be back and if the um iron ore prices go up this definitely is going to go up and possibly the, the this uh, the analyst might actually change their mind or whatever but for now they're saying it's about three percent uh, minus three percent in the next couple of years so we'll see if it goes down i'm going to keep buying more if they cut the dividends we'll see what happens okay Air products and chemicals is another company that i own is in the material sector as well absolutely love this business it has a narrow economic mode Gr they're growing their basically business like crazy right now they don't have a lot of free cash flow but they have enough to cover the dividends and the di dividends is actually a nice and sweet spot but right now when you look at the um 
when you look at the basic this six to one percent that's the only thing i'm a little bit concerned but the five-year growth rate is perfect and the return on invested capital is absolutely fine growth for the next five year, ten year five years they're expecting about ten percent almost eleven percent and the interest sparing uh debt is actually very very low and they, they they pay a really good dividend as well so it's one of those companies that i think every portfolio should have it but right now i think it's still undervalued it's been undervalued for a while but it might be fair valued right now s p global absolutely beautiful company i wish i owned more because it kind of gone up quite a bit since um recently so i'm hoping that it will come back down to at least i don't know what is it right now 350 ish if it comes back to 320s i'll be buying a lot more i want to get at least 10 shares and then stop for a while okay but it's a great company they have excellent dividend they actually payout ratio is very low five-year growth rate is actually nice and um, return on investor capital they do amazing out of all of these companies here they are absolutely on top when it comes to return on invested capital and um, they're growing their earnings as well as well as that their level of debt is very very low so it's definitely a hold for me as right now right we've got two more to go public storage is a new addition i think it's been what well, about four or five months okay it has obviously not been um, no economic mode when it comes to um basically they don't have a competitive advantage basically any co anyone can open those kind of storage they own five-year group basically when we look at the five-year growth rate is very very low um but they do have a 2.6 billion dollars in the bank and the growth expectation is about 17 percent for the next five years every single year so that's actually a very positive thing and the debt level is very low and they for now i'm definitely holding on to it i will be buying more as i am down right now i think i'm down yes as you can see about seven percent eight percent so i will be buying more of this company in the next few months Seagro is another one in the UK based. They don't have an economic mode right now. The growth actually looks really nice. They basically um, free cash flow is actually fine. And this is a REIT, but payout ratio is actually quite low because REITs normally you're looking about 90% or more. So this is actually a really nice spot. So there you have it, 16 basically different companies that I own in my portfolio. I've already done the other 16, uh, 15. If you want to look at a... Um, the other basically this is 14 so the, the basically if you want to look at the rest of them please watch the video that i've done a couple of days ago so there you have it i mean the only two i want to sell is these two here and also obviously like i said lowe's is one of the companies that i need to watch out in the next few weeks i'll be honest with you i really like the company i like the different growth side of it so i'm hoping that they pay off some of their debt i'm gonna read the latest earnings report and see if they actually if they basically bought uh, if they basically got rid of some of that debt and yeah so i'm gonna basically be doing a little bit more research before i actually sell it and i don't think i will be doing that at least to 2023 anyway so we'll see how that goes but overall that's my portfolio and i want to the reason i wanted to do this is number one to be transparent about when it comes to sharia compliance side of things the only one that like i said that's definitely not sharia compliant right now is this company and since i'm done 800 pounds i'm not selling it anytime soon i'm going to hold on to it at least um, if i can break even i will be beautiful if not see what happens okay that's the first reason the first, second reason is I honestly, when I actually thought about this, I did this for myself. I wanted to do this. So 2023, I knew what companies I will be holding on to and what companies I would sell and so on. And then I thought, you know what? It will be really fun to share with everybody else and be transparent. But as you can see, I genuinely did this for myself first. And I thought, you know what? Let me just share with everybody else. And I hope you find some value in this. And if you do, please just like the video, subscribe to the channel and let me know in any, if you have any questions. I've got a few more videos planned. So the going forward is so considering i've said i'm going possibly selling these companies what i will be doing is now i've got five companies i think five or six companies that i could potentially be adding 2023 they're not all undervalued right now but i will possibly be doing more research in the next few weeks or even months to and there i will definitely be adding them to my portfolio because i do think in terms of growth side of it in terms of debt levels they meet the criteria that i've set for myself so we'll see where that goes inshallah and i'll let you know i think i'll do that video tomorrow if i get time if not it will be done for sunday and then you can watch it over the weekend inshallah right if you have any questions as always please let me know as you can see the portfolio is ticking up again today i don't know yeah 
it goes up and down who cares in the end of the day the most important thing is that you think about your long-term goal and do exactly what you want to do in terms of your managing your portfolio assalamu alaikum take care